Well, welcome, welcome everyone. It is the NCB Foundation Teacher's Day webinar. We're so happy to have you. I can't believe you're here. I know you could have been doing everything else, but we're glad that you decided to stick around and be here with your NCB family. Now, if you haven't told your teachers, your colleagues as yet, I think you wanna go ahead and give them a notch, share the registration link, share the Zoom link, right now because they need to join this session. We have over $1 million in cash and prizes to be given away to you or dedicated and hardworking teachers. And we want to definitely do that here. So if it is that you're hearing my voice, yes, we're here. We're ready. Our speakers are ready. Um, <laughs> go ahead and share the link. By the way, I'd love to know which schools are joined right here today. So go ahead. Tell us which school you're from. Um, just drop it in the chat. We'd be happy to hear. And whilst you do that, we're going to dedicate this really nice vibes this song because it's all about the energy. The same energy you carry into the classroom, we're carrying it right here on the NCB Foundation Teacher's Day webinar. And we're showing you how much we appreciate you. So let me just drop that music. Don't mind. Continue to drop um, which school you're from. We want to hear from you. Yeah. Let me just pull it up. So if you know the song, then you know what kind of energy um, this artist carries. So wait for it. Okay, let me just make sure I'm sharing my screen. Let me just ensure. Yes. Okay. Are you guys dropping the schools that you're from? Please let us know. Want to shout you out, right? We're not promoting the video so much, but it's the lyrics of it. World Fresh Phone, see now in my video. It's yeah. all about World Fresh Phone. People, I'll be like, we are live. What's on this? I don't think that talk to them. I have my house and I have my car. I have my drink and I have my bar. I have my peace and I don't want war. I have my riches, I don't need bar. I got my money, I got my girl, got my diamonds, I got my pearl, got my things and I got my Don't wings, I'm a fly every day, I'm the lord of wings, everybody sing happiness, Boy, we not in a no more with stress. Mm -hmm. Should I pull that up a while ago? You, you needed a DJ here to just pull it up, wheel and come again kind of vibe. I think I just want to get that happiness again because our teachers have been faced with so many things and it's so important for us as NCB Foundation to care about you, those who have been imparting knowledge to our children, those who have imparted knowledge to us while we're here today. And, and as we say happiness, it's not no look at dibi dibi happiness, in our peace are happy. It is the happiness that transcends through all understanding. So we're going to just drop that little happiness line there again because we want to make sure that you feel appreciated by us because we do appreciate you. And I have my bar, I have my peace and I don't want war, I have my riches, I don't need bar, got my money, I got my girl, got my diamonds, I got my pearl, got my things and I got my wings, I may fly every day, I'm the lord of wings, everybody sing, happiness, we not in a no more with stress, we not feel friend, we not bad mind, we not want no friendship from them, sing again now, happiness, we not in a no more with stress, Dance and I enjoy myself if you want to start off your business. All right, stir fry, stir fry, stir fry. My me to go to ya. All right, let's just put a wrap on that one. I hope you enjoyed just that music, the vibes. Hold on, let me see what's going on in the chat. The chat is blaring off, which is very good for me today. Let's see, we have Ken Ride Primary, bless up yourself, Tashana. There is um the Almond High, the Almond Hill primary thank you so much mrs cornbread for joining us how many of the teachers are here tell us we want to hear bless up holy family primary that's um gwyneth clark i'm seeing you yes boy alman hill again but it, it, it seems as if all of alman hill primary um teachers are <laughs> here so i'm very pleased for that thank you for joining us of course i'm gonna need to bless up glenn devon primary i hope i've pronounced that properly that's Glen Devon Primary and Infant School. Woot, woot. <laughs> All right. 
and Philo Primary. Oh, geez, thank you for joining us. You're all the way in St. Elizabeth. And that means, you know, connectivity can sometimes be a challenge, but we're really glad that you took the time out to be here. So let's just get right into today's um, agenda. What do we have in store for you? Now, you would have seen that, yes, we say it's all about you, but what is for you? And I'm going to take it quickly in terms of what we want to achieve from our teachers day webinar. First, at the end of the day, we want to ensure that you, you have enhanced in your digital and training skills. Listen, the world not waiting on us just to stay to the regular methodologies of teaching. It is telling us to be adaptive. It is teaching us to adjust. And today, we have speakers who are not just going to teach you how to address, but at the end of the day, you too can have a self-development when it comes on to upskilling in digital courses, yes, where it comes on to maybe starting your own online business if you have not started, okay? And at the end of the day, you will be able to empower others. And that for us is power. So with no further ado, I'm going to go straight ahead and introduce our first speaker for this evening. Now, our first speaker is Alicia Little, who is a renowned entrepreneur, Al Afesia Nando, and digital marketing expert with 23 years of experience. Now, she has held prestigious positions at the White House, US EPA, and the City of New Orleans, mayor's office before transitioning to the digital realm. As a speaker and a trainer, she has shared her expertise internationally, teaching others to leverage the internet for business success. Now, Alicia, who founded Pow Social Media and Monetized Marketing, a training and marketing company run alongside her sister, Lorette. She's also a successful real estate investor, and co-owner of Protected Equity Limited. Now, Alicia has received numerous accolades. I'm talking about the Marcom Awards, Ava Digital Awards, Communicator Awards, .com, Nation Builders, ClickFunnels 2 Comma Club Award twice, and the Traffic Sales and Profits Circle of Seven Award. Listen, I'm gonna drop some celebration into the chat. Drop those emojis. Give her some thumbs up. She has gone with a bag of things. And that means that she's absolutely credible to speak to you this evening on AI, artificial intelligence, and how it can transform your life and others around you. And I'm going to continue too, because Alicia is also a public, she also contributes to the public broadcasting television, where she hosts a weekly segment called the Digital Jampreneur where she educates entrepreneurs on building online empires. As a business owner and coach, she is dedicated to helping others succeed, teaching them how to harness the internet and AI to grow their business. Now, with no further ado, help me welcome Miss Alicia Little. Thank you, Jody Ann. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I need her to always read my bio. Like before I do any speaking, I need to be like, Jody Ann, could you read my bio? Isn't she amazing? Now that lady could make some extra money on the side being an announcer <laughs> on Zoom sessions, right? She is so good at that. And that's what we're going to talk about today. It's like, how can you take your talents and your skills and what you're good at and passionate about and turn that into money online. And then I'm going to go and show you how you can use AI, which is all the rage right now, to really um, help you in everything that you do. So if you guys are ready to learn some extra ways to get your side hustle on as a teacher and to make some money, just give me a money money in the chat. Give me a money money in the chat. Let's see who's got it. <laughs> Uh, let's see. All right. I'm looking to see who's the first one. We've got some prizes to give away. So make sure that you guys participate. Uh, today I'm representing Internet Income Jamaica, and we're going to be giving away some courses. My sister and I started Internet Income Jamaica over a decade ago. We're based out of Kingston. All right. So we've got a lot of money, money, and we teach people how to start an online business and um, we're going to be giving away some courses. So good luck to everyone. All right. I see you guys typing it in here. Thank you so much. Stacey Ann, Nicole, 
Jamelia, <laughs> Nalicia, Richard, Novali, Norda, uh, Nalicia, Natalie, <laughs> Jody Ann, I love your emoji. All right, so I've got about 20 minutes with you guys. And so we're going to take this up a notch and I am going to share my screen. Now, teachers, have you heard about Chat GPT? We're going to start off here and then I'm going to head on over to Fiverr, which is my favorite website to uh, work online. But I just want to make sure, I just want to ask some teachers here. I know there's a lot of controversy when it comes to the educational system and using AI, but we're not here to talk about that because today you are a student, we are your teachers, and <laughs> I'm going to be showing you how you can leverage this tool, right? Okay, a lot of you, Novali, um, you guys have said that you've heard of ChatGPT before. So ChatGPT is a large language model that it's artificial intelligence, as we call it in its simplest form. But what it can do for a teacher is mind-blowing. So there's a lot of things that you're great at as teachers. Somebody type into the chat and tell me something that they're great at as a teacher. Because we're going to pull in your career experience and turn that into some money. <laughs> so somebody tell me what you're good at. Maybe it is, you know, you are passionate about math, maybe teaching math, or you're really good at you know, helping students to maybe tutoring is something that you would love to do on the side or um, something that else that you're passionate about. Uh, planning a fun lesson. Oh, nobly, I might use you as an example. Um, having creative ideas to teach. You're really good, good at that. Planning lessons. So planning lessons seems to be a theme in the chat. Does everybody see that? Stacey Ann said planning lessons. So here's the thing. As a teacher, you can sell your lesson plans online. You can create fun lessons and sell it online. There's websites like, I'm on this one right now, teacherspayteachers.com. Let me put this URL in the chat. And this is where teachers sell their lesson plans online. And then the other site that I'm going to talk about is fiverr.com. And you can sell your lesson plans on Fiverr. As an example, some of the teachers that are our students, they create their lesson plans, and then they do different types of online tutoring and that sort of stuff online. Um, but just to give you a quick resource, so in Teachers Pay Teachers, you see that there are some teachers here that are selling different lesson plans. I just typed in Jamaica to see if anybody has created any lesson plans around anything in Jamaica. So this is a lesson plan for pre-K to first grade at 16 pages, and it's a very basic country study in lower elementary school. So something that they did. Each page has a basic fact about Jamaica and a senior illustration to get students to connect with Jamaica. Another country study, a fact sheet for early readers. Do you guys get it? Just say got it in the chat if you understand. So these teachers, they put together their lesson plans that they uniquely make and they sell it online. All right. Stacey Ann said got it first. Jody Ann, Tessa, if I mispronounce your name, I really apologize. Okay, so why don't we create a lesson plan from scratch? But before I do that, you have to tell me how long would it normally take you to create a lesson plan? Somebody tell me in the chat, if you sat down and you're like, okay, I'm going to create a lesson plan, how long would it normally take you? Natalie says three hours. That seems pretty reasonable. Um, Norda, five hours. Latoya, two hours. Stacey Ann, an hour. Stacey Ann, what are you, like a super lesson plan creator? That is the fastest I've ever heard. Uh, Tessa said two hours. So we're between an hour with super teacher Stacey Ann and five hours Norda with the average probably being two and a half hours, okay, to create a lesson plan. Now, um, I am not a teacher, so just bear with me as I think of a lesson plan to create. So this is ChatGPT. And for those of you that have never played around on ChatGPT, my goal in the next like 12 minutes is to get you addicted. <laughs> Novalee says varies based on top of the average is two hours. Okay. Natalie says she's used it. So I'm dropping the link there to ChatGPT and you can use it absolutely free, absolutely free. 
Novali, you use it as well. All right, so let's create a lesson plan. So I'm going to tell ChatGPT to create a lesson plan for two to second to third graders, I don't know, um, on the solar system. And oh, let me enhance my screen a little bit. Can everybody see what I'm typing in? Somebody says say yes in the chat. I just want to make sure that you can see what I'm typing in. All right, thank you. Create a lesson plan for, I have a typo already. Yes, teachers, I have typos. <laughs> for second and third graders on the solar system. Include, uh, what do you what do you include in lesson in lesson plans? Create a lesson plan for second and third graders on the solar system. Include objectives, great, thank you. Somebody else, give me something else. Include objectives and activities maybe, and resources. And let's just leave it at that and see what we're get, we get. All right, so lesson plan, exploring the solar system, grade level, look at where my hands are. Like I'm not typing this. Second to third grade, duration five days, 45 minutes each day. Lesson objective, students will identify and describe the eight planets in our solar system. They will understand the relationship between the sun, the planets, and the orbits. Students will be able to explain the differences between, I mean, it's it's pushing out the content way faster than I can read it, but it gives you what the materials and resources would be the book, uh, books and videos, construction papers. Okay, day one, introduction to the solar system. Begin by showing the students a poster or chart of the solar system and briefly introduce the eight planets and the sun. Read out loud or show a video about the solar system to provide a comprehensive overview. Have students work in pairs or small groups to discuss and list the planets in order from the sun. Review the list as a class and discuss any discrepancies. Day two, inner planets. It is going to write out the entire five days with the lesson plan. Do you guys see this? All right, let me make sure everybody sees this. Um, okay, I did get two wows. I was making sure that you guys saw this. All right, so <laughs> I was like, if I don't get any wows, then you can't see my screen. <laughs> so it is it is creating the lesson plan. Day two, inner planets. Day three, outer planets. Day four, the sun in orbits. It just keeps going and going and going. Now, um, I'm timing it and we're at about... 40 seconds right now. Let's see if it can do this in under 60 seconds. Come on, chat GPT. I do have about 62 windows open. So my internet might be a little bit slower than normal, but we're getting there. We're okay. We're at about 60 seconds right now. I'm guessing. Let's see if it can do it in under 90 seconds. And then now we got an assessment here and evaluate students' understanding. So here's the whole lesson plan done in about 90 seconds. So definitely faster than five hours, even faster than an hour. And now you're saying to yourself, okay, this is awesome. <laughs> I want to, I need help though. So if I'm teaching this, boy, I'm still looking at this and saying, you know what? I don't even know how to describe the eight planets in our solar system. So I'm going to say, <laughs> um, write a page for me to read to these students that describes the eight planets in our solar system. All right, so let's go. And so here's what I can read. Hello, boys and girls. Today, we're going on an adventure through the solar system to learn about the eight amazing planets that make up our galactic neighborhood. Are you ready to blast off? Here we go. Mercury. Our first stop is Mercury, the smallest and closest planet to the sun, because don't ask me to give that lesson. I do not know. I'd have to think about it for a minute. I'm like, um, all right. So now we'll get past that. And then the... Uh, Oh, so I probably should have been on day one, but you know, just looking at the lesson objectives, I don't even know how to describe some of that. So, the, so if we look at, let's look at day one, part two. Read out loud or show a video about how the solar, about the solar system, to provide a comprehensive overview. That's probably what it's doing right now. But let's look at it. All right, so let's look at something else. Use books or internet research 
to research the inner planets and encourage students to take notes. So I'm going to say, make a recommendation on a good website. Oh, my puppy. Bruno. <laughs> on a good website. Let's see. Um, for what are we looking at a good website for? Um, students to learn more about the solar system, I guess we could put that on a good website or websites for students to learn about the solar system, you know, just like this. Stacey Ann says, I love this already and I haven't tried it yet. So it's still writing out all the descriptions for the, um, the solar systems and describing everything. So that is fantastic. Um, so anyway, just to give you guys an overview, this these are the lesson objectives, the materials and resources, and the different days, and then what the assessment should be. Now, it can create, Bruno, I have a puppy. He's like this big, this big. Um, it can create almost anything that you want it to. I'm going to ask my, my uh, I'm going to ask Greg if, I, if he can come get him. But um, so give me any questions that you guys have on this really quickly. Give me any questions that you guys have. We've got 10 minutes left for your questions. Give me any questions that you have. I'm just going to ask him if I can send Bruno to you. All right. I love this already. Come on, give me your questions. <laughs> give me your questions. Latoya says this is super. Does it limit you to how many resources you can create? It doesn't. If, if you end up, hang on one second, hang on one second. All right, guys, <laughs> the puppy was getting too excited. He's a Yorkie poo. All right, so <laughs> is it free to sign up? Yes. So for ChatGPT, it's absolutely free to sign up. There is a paid plan, which just helps it to produce content quicker, um, but you don't need it. But the paid plan is $20 a month. Uh, you can use your Gmail account as free. Yep. Do you have to have the premium? Nope. You do not have to have the premium to do any of this on ChatGPT. You can just totally use a free account. Um, any other questions? <laughs> no limit to what you can create, no limit. Yep, just you can just keep, keep creating. So I could say, um, create a quiz uh, for this lesson. Um, make it easy for second graders. I shouldn't say make it easy, make it, or second graders, um, <laughs> put the answer key at the bottom of the quiz. Because, you know, as teachers, we want the answer key, right? Um, create a quiz, create a, let's do a five question quiz, a five um, question, multiple choice quiz for this lesson and go. Let's do it. Quiz. Which planet is closest to the sun? A, Venus, B, Mercury, C, sorry, B, Earth, C, Mercury, D, Mars. Teachers, let me test you. Go ahead, put it in before you see the, um, <laughs> before you see the answer come up. Let me see who knows. So is there a phone app? Claudia, there is not a phone app, an official phone app, but one of the things that you can do, I do have it on my, uh, hard to see, on my phone as an app. Um, so what you do is you open chat GPT on your phone and you can set it up as a shortcut. So I can send you guys a video on how to do that because I have a video on social media or I'll show you how to follow me on Instagram and the videos I post. All right. So we have um, Tessa says Mercury and Novalee says Mars. So let's see who is right. 
And the answer is Mercury. <laughs> so Tessa, congratulations. And I'm going to give you our email address. You have won a course from Internet Income Jamaica. And so when you email us and say that you're a winner, our staff member, Ava, will help you to pick a course. So congratulations, you won. Uh, give her a congratulations, everybody. <laughs> but you see how it created a quiz for you? I mean, hello. So nice. Now, there's so much that you could do with ChatGPT. And I really encourage all of you to play around with it. I will show you my social media handles at the end. I give away a lot of free training and resources in my YouTube so you guys can learn some more. But what I want to do now is show you kind of how to tie this all together and monetize it. So my absolutely free favorite website out of all of them for listing services on is called Fiverr.com. Have you guys heard of Fiverr.com? So this is a website. I'm going to put the link in the chat. This is a website that you can sign up for. It's free to sign up and you can list your services on the website. So let's say that you want to do math tutoring, <laughs> math tutor, online math tutor. There we go. We do have some of our students who are um, in Jamaica and they're online math tutors. So you can see that all these people here are offering math tutoring. I was just looking through real quick to see if I could find one of our students. I don't see them. And you can see these people are from all over the world. So there's so many people from all over the world that are doing online math tutoring. So what you can do is you can look and see, all right, what is someone doing and how much are they charging for it so that you can set up your own services? Somebody here told me they were really good at math. So... Um, all right, here's one of our students here. Let's see what he's offering. I will be your online math tutor. <laughs> all right, so this includes tutoring and assi an assignment guide and exam preparation. Um, welcome to my math tutoring page. We teach math online for all levels. We tutor math in the following categories. Feel free to contact me directly if you want customized lessons for your child. And then he just talks a little bit about his services. Wow, 174 five-star reviews from Jamaica. Uh, let's see, right here. Just going to go down to his reviews really quickly. Oh, where did I miss his reviews? What people were saying about him. Hang on one second. Must have missed it. Um, but anyway, he has three packages, a basic package, a standard package, and a premium package. So you set up your different packages and you offer your services online. So if you wanted to create lesson plans for other teachers, you could set up a service creating lesson plans. You could, um, uh, there's different ones here. One of my students actually in Jamaica, she teaches from the Level Up program, thank you, MCB Foundation. She teaches Spanish um, on WhatsApp. <laughs> so you sign up for her Spanish teaching and you go back and forth on WhatsApp with her and she teaches you and quizzes you and just gives you different lessons in WhatsApp. So, okay, some of you have said that you've heard of Fiverr. So Fiverr is a really great way to tie in monetizing the different skills that you have. Now, I have one minute left, so I'm going to run through really quickly some of the tips for getting set up on Fiverr. When you get set up on Fiverr, let us let me click on, uh, where did he go? I'll click on anybody here. All right, we'll click on Roland. And Roland has his profile written right here, his About Me profile. You can get that written for you on <laughs> ChatGPT. So let me open up a new session in ChatGPT. And I'm going to say I'm in the free version right now. It says ChatGPT Plus, but I'm on version 3.5, which is the free version, just to show you guys. Um, create a um, well-written profile for me for my Fiverr account. My name is Alicia, and I am a teacher. I tutor math online, and I'm really good. <laughs> I tutor uh, from pre, pre K to sixth graders. I have been a teacher for 22 years. And so, hello, you know, so it's going to give you something for fiber. I'm going to say, this is too long. 
shorten it and then it's going to shorten it for me. And then this is exactly what I would put on Fiverr right there. So as you're setting up your Fiverr account, you need to set up a, where did that one go? You need to set up a good profile and then set up your different services that you offer on Fiverr. This is just a really quick uh, tip for you guys, but it works. It does work. We have so many of our students making their side hustle on Fiverr. So I encourage all of you teachers to get your side hustle going after school on the weekends and do some work on Fiverr. Now, I just want somebody to tell me <laughs> really quickly, when you open up ChatGPT, what is the first thing that you're going to ask ChatGPT to create for you? Somebody tell me, when you play around with it, what is the first thing that you're going to <laughs> ask it to do for you? Um, okay. Norda said a lesson plan. Claudia said a lesson plan. Natalie said create a slogan. Latoya said lesson plans. So it looks like lesson plans are really popular. A profile. Yep. Profile for Fiverr. A lesson plan for next week's lesson. And Stacey Ann, is that for class, for your class? Um, let's see. What did Novali said? A, a profile on Fiverr. Yep. Uh, hold on. I'm just typing something to you guys. So Stacey Ann, because you're actually going to be using it <laughs> right for class for next week's lesson plan, would you do me a favor and email Ava because you have won a course as well. So congratulations. I'm excited for you. So you can see help desk at Little Sister Support right there. Um, just email her. You have won as well. Congratulations to you, Stacey Ann. For that, you are welcome. You are welcome. So let me see. Let me just tell you this last thing. When you earn online working on Fiverr, what currency do you earn in? Somebody tell me in the chat if you know what currency you earn in. Uh, Latoya said it first. You earn in U.S. dollars. So you earn in the currency of U.S. dollars, but you can connect it with your NCB bank account and deposit money in your bank account. And that's what you should always do when you're earning online, deposit into your bank account so that there's a track of you earning as a freelancer. And you can use that um, to you know, qualify your earnings when you need to get different things like loans and that sort of thing. So very good. The other, <laughs> the Latoya, you've won as well. So please email that help desk email, scroll up and you will see it in there. Congratulations to you. And then the last question that I have for you guys is, can anyone use ChatGPT? So you've heard about it. I'm sure it's been on the news. Can anyone use it? Is it open to anyone? And the answer to that is yes. And Norda typed it in first. So Norda, you also win a course from Internet Income Jamaica. So thank you so much. Did you guys enjoy this session? I truly enjoyed sharing it with you. Happy Teacher's Day. You are all amazing. Thank you so much for all that you do as teachers. <laughs> and I really encourage you play around with ChatGPT. I'm so addicted to this tool. I'm speaking on stages about it. I did two virtual events today um, already for other people's summits. It's just something that is so popular right now. I really encourage you as a teacher, embrace AI, be way ahead of the curve and really get to know it on the level that you know, as you play with it each and every day, put it on your phone, right? That means create, an, if you want to, you can create an account on your phone, have it on your phone. Sorry, my phone. So you can play with it um, as you're doing different things, as the kids are on recess, uh, because AI, it is the future. I get paid as well as a consultant. I consulted with a corporation today, taught their staff how to use AI. So there's so much opportunities for you, even just being a teacher that knows how to leverage AI, the doors are open for you. Jump through them, take on the opportunity. I've got to run, but thank you guys so much. And a special shout out to the NCB Foundation for inviting me once again to speak at their Teacher's Day webinar. You guys are awesome. I love the NCB Foundation so much, you guys. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Elise. My gosh, chat GPT just got a whole lot bigger. I, I'm going to say it's, it's blazing off, you know, prior <laughs> to the whole solar system. Thank you so much, Elise. It you. was just pointed. It was insightful. 
And guess what? It seems pretty easy to do. Yeah, I realized definitely. that the teachers are all for it. Now I'm ready to talk about some money. Because if you're going to be making money online using ChatGPT as that helpful digital tool and possibly signing up on Fiverr to make that extra box, then you need to know how to maintain your financial wellness. Of course, I will be inviting Shelly and Allen, who is the branch manager for the NCB Old Harbor, um, to talk to us on maintaining financial wellness. Just to give you a little background as to who Shelly Ann is. Now, Shellyan has been in banking for over 26 years. In fact, she has been in management from 2015. She holds a master's degree in leadership and human development, and that is from the Louisiana State University, and a bachelor's degree in business administration from Northern Caribbean University. She's committed and believes that hard work is the panacea for success. She has achieved placement, especially for her bank, in the top 10 bank branch over the years, and that's been um, based on a ranking. So that's pretty, pretty good. Now, Shellen is currently the team lead, and that is for stewardship and leadership ministry as the Regiment Universe, uni sorry, as the Regiment United Church, which seeks to develop aspiring leaders as well as to challenge and equip to equip them to be good stewards. You know what I like about Shelly, and this is where I get a little bit more, you know, Jamaican on it, yeah, is that she loves to cook. <laughs> Shelly, if there's nothing else, yes, the cooking part, I mean, cuisine, food, I love it. So, of course, she loves to cook and she loves to host events and she just loves that because what? She believes that good food can also result in happiness. Listen, Shelly, and come and talk to us a little bit. Welcome. Welcome to our Teacher's Day webinar. Where are you? Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I have one Good question afternoon. before you start, Shelly. Talk to me. What kind of food do you like cook now? Because I like Aki and Savage. I just want to make sure. So you have I that cook, in it too. I cook everything. You have to learn to experiment with food. There's a reason why I like cooking over baking because baking, you have to be precise, but... Mm. Um, with cooking, it's a little different. You can dash in something and, you know, dash in a little bit more of the thing and, you know, spice it up. So I really enjoy cooking because I love, love to experiment and it, it, it enables you to experiment. And one final question. Yeah? I'm sure you're not expecting this. So do you do it a Jamaican way? I mean, you said dash in. Is that you learn that from your grandmother? <laughs> Because you yes. use measuring cup and those things. Right, so. <laughs> Run all the way. <laughs> Run all the way. It, we want to know how we can maintain financial wellness. Go ahead and tell us, Shalian. Good afternoon, everyone. Our lovely teachers. Good afternoon. I'm so happy to share with you. I want to just pause for a moment. So wish you happy um, Teacher's Day. I hope that your day would have been filled with much love and appreciation. We really appreciate what you are doing to our young children, our young minds. You are not only developing these young minds, but you're also contributing to nation building. So congratulations and happy Teacher's Day. I'm going to share my screen now. I hope everybody is able to see it. So today we're going to be talking about, um, everybody see my screen? Hello? Yeah, man, I'm definitely seeing your screen. Okay. You want to present it? Okay, yes. yes. Perfect. Yes. All right. So we're talking about financial wellness. You heard Alicia spoke about how it is that you can um, make some additional money. And so what I'm here to talk to you about is how it is that you, while you make the money, um, how to manage it so that you can maintain so we're going to be talking about financial wellness. Now, there are six dimensions of wellness. And it is said that once you would have um, learned the art of, of managing these well, then you should be okay. These are spiritual wellness, emotional or mental wellness, intellectual or academic wellness, physical wellness, social wellness, environmental wellness, and of course, 
um, financial wellness. How, how well are you? How, when was the last time you asked yourself that question? How well are you? When you look at all the dimensions, how well are you? Have you achieved total wellness? So we're going to be talking about financial wellness because that's what we do as a bank, right? And I just want to share a little explanation to you um, that comes from Forbes. Forbes said that financial wellness is a relative measure of how well a person manages their financial life. Improving financial wellness is about practicing better money habits, setting goals, taking steps to achieve them, all with the aim of improving your overall quality of life. And I believe that that is so, right? So at the core of financial management, you have your income, your spending, your savings, your investment, and your protection. So let me repeat that. The income or what you earn, your salary, what you spend, your, your expenditure, your savings, how much are you putting away for a rainy day, your investment, um, that can part a part, form a part of your savings and your protection. Do you have um, insurance or, or and your um, pension? Those are very important and you must consider those when you're talking about financial wellness or financial management, right? In order to maintain financial wellness, especially in these um, challenging times, you have to discover the entrepreneur in you. And many of us are already entrepreneurs. We know how to um, make an extra book or two. And Natalie would have helped us to realize how it is that we can make some um, additional money, right? So we look at some factors that will help us to get it right. We look at, we're going to be looking at seizing opportunities. We're going to use what we have or learn to use what we have. And we're going to practice smart financial management. According to Marden, opportunities, they're all around us. There is power lying latent everywhere waiting for the observant eye to discover it. I wonder how many of us um, are in agreement with that. Do you believe that opportunities are all around you? I believe that opportunity is everywhere. And what we need to do is to develop the vision to see it. No companies office of Jamaica reported that more business names were registered during the pandemic than any other period in the nation's history. And we can um, appreciate why. Right During the pandemic, so many things have happened. So many businesses were forced to close their doors um, and that affected um, earnings. Persons were laid off. Persons were not able to earn. Um, and, and, and what persons were forced to do is to find different ways of earning their income, right? You're, you're living and you can't walk and beg, <laughs> you have your expenses, right? And so you had to learn how to um, create, create income, create a salary, right? And it also, during that time, a lot of changes had to be made with how we do things, right? So it called on us at some point to look at our academic achievements, look at how it is that we are, what it is that we need to do, um, is it that we needed to upskill, to get a new skill, to do a, a, a course in order to get qualified, to get a different job? Some of us, because we, you know, learn from ex experience because, you know, we, we've been in this job for so long and we've gained much experience. So um, a lot of things happened. A lot of mistakes were made. People trying new things, it didn't work, um, some work. But one thing we know that mistakes and mishaps are the biggest teachers, right? And if you are not fail, if you don't fail, it is said that you you won't learn. Nothing is wrong with failing. It's how you handle the failure, right? And the changes that took place also is, wasn't only for learning. It was also for earning because doing different things afford different relationships. You encounter different experiences, and in the process, 
you earn additional money or 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 different or, or money in general. Some weren't able, weren't weren't earning, and so based on the things that you had to embark on or, or the different things, you know, you earn money. You are able to earn money and to continue with your livelihood. At the end of the day, guys, nothing comes easily. You really have to work hard. So we're going to look at what it is that use what we have to use to, to do or to achieve what we want to achieve. And um, Roosevelt once said that you have to start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. You can't get it better than that, right? Would you agree? We have more income generating tools than we realize. And whether or not, if you look around you, when look back, Look back at what took place um, during COVID. Who would have thought that you could you could have used something to um, I, I, currently? And what it calls on us to do is to monetize what we have. We have to look at the things that we have. Look at our skills. Um, you're able to make baskets, right? So it calls on you to make the very best baskets that you can make. Look at your niche market. Look at a market and, and sell those baskets so that you can earn an extra dollar, right? Or to be able to continue with your livelihood. Right? It also causes on you to look at the type of assets that you have. You might have a house with an extra room or two extra rooms. And because of the situation, it's survival time. You'd want to fix up that room so that you can rent it out to somebody um, you know, who needs space, or you can use it to do something else that will help you to create an additional income, right? The use of technology. Um, this is one way. Look at what Alicia just, you know, informed us that can happen. You are a tech savvy person. Um, a lot of you um, once said in the in the chat that you you love math. How is it that you can use technology to bring math to the world, right? So your use of technology in these days you have to be technologically savvy. And because you are smart and you're determined, you're going to use your skills, use your assets and use the use of technology to earn money. So we look at how it is that we can monetize what we have to earn at, at a, a buck or two, right? You're going to start with what you have. You're going to invest more. Look at how it is that you can invest more in yourself, more in um, a business venture that you're doing, because guess what? The more you invest, when you're when you have much invested in a particular um, business venture, then it is less likely that you will walk away easily because you have so much invested. You you'd want to see it succeed, and you're going to try your very best to make it a success. No. You also have to develop a plan because if you don't have a plan, you're going to be, anybody can just come or anything can just come and sway your left or right. You don't know what to do, but you're going to sit down and develop a plan. You must have a plan. How it is that, what it is that you want, how it is that you're going to get there, the steps that you're going to take, set your timeline and must achieve this by that time. Setting a plan helps you to, 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 to make it a little easier, to make, you, you know, achieve your goals a little easier. Right. And it might call on you to borrow. Nothing is wrong with borrowing. It is said that the smart one knows how to use the bank's money to, um, to earn. Right. Use your dollar to earn. Use, use the bank's dollar to earn your dollar. Right. Once the business is able to um, produce on its own, to, to, to survive on its own, then you have no problem. No money management is that how it is that you're going to manage the money is another problem. But you might be called upon to borrow money in order to move forward with your project to um, get an extra some extra qualification or to upskill. You may have to borrow, but don't don't take it off the, the 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 calendar. And this is we're here to help you to show you how it is that we can you can um, borrow money to 
Invest in yourself, invest in your business. Remember, at the end of the day, you want to earn a little bit more. You want to be able to live comfortably when you retire. And so you have to start putting in the work from now, right? We have to start thinking differently. Um, if you look at how Amazon operates, they think differently and look around corners for ways to serve their customers. And we're encouraging you, depending on what you do, that is the same approach you need to take. Look at what, what you are doing, how it is that you're doing it, and you always have to be on the ball to improve, right? Because at the end of the day, you want to build a, 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 a good business. You want to build a good business. So be on the lookout for that and stick to the plan. You know, um, entrepreneurship is a 24 hour job, right? You know, I mean, the best of entrepreneurs will tell you that, boy, they work right around the clock. It takes so much time and they have to be consistent in what they do, right? If you want to be consistent, if you want to build a good brand, you have to take time to build your brand. Look, if you know the history of this wonderful bank, NCB's more than 185 years. And it, it, which says that it didn't start overnight. It didn't happen overnight. It's a long time, but we have a strong brand. And in the same way, if you're going to be building your brand, you want to create a website that offers math lessons to the world, right? It takes time for you to build your particular brand. And it is something that you have to invest in. You have to put in the work. Right? You always have to be improving your techniques, how it is that you're going to be um, you know, offering your services or your products. What are you going to use to ensure that the best of what you have to offer is out there? It takes time. And it also takes time to build your customer base, right? Because guess what? When you serve a, a customer, when you serve up, when you offer that um, service map online. You are your customers are your students, and your student you're one you're gonna want to ensure that your students are getting the best lessons so that when they are through and they get their qualification, they pass the mark, the CSEC and the, the K, they are going to tell their friends that you know I had gone to this particular individual, I registered online with this person, and I was able to um get this amount of lessons so that I could gain success in my 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 exams right consistency is another thing that you need to consider you have to be consistent with quality improvement right so last year something was being offered online when you look at your competitors this is what they're offering you have to continue you have to look at how it is that you can improve the quality of your offering right you have to be creative and you have to be innovative um Back before COVID, we were doing things differently from what we are doing now. Uh, two years ago, you know, we didn't know about we didn't know about um, Chat GPT. We didn't know about Chat GPT. And look at Chat what Chat GPT has to offer, right? Um, reliability is also important. When you are reliable, I can guarantee you that you are on your way to building a good brand you are on your way to building a good customer base. So I am imploring you to consider these two factors, um, which is key, you know, as you go along your journey. So we're going to be looking at smart financial practices. And it says that um, money likes emotions is something you must control to keep your life on the right track. Some pillars that you can think of, budget, income, money, manage expenses, how you manage your expenses, right? So when you look on the budget, you're going to analyze your income. How much are you earning? Is it enough, right? Remember, we spoke about how it is that you're going to um, make an extra income, right? When you look at what you're earning now, is it enough to give you the savings that you want? Is it enough to send you to um, get your master's or your, your PhD? Is it enough to start a little business on the side? Uh, you know, so analyzing the budget will determine whether or not you need to 
supplement, you need to look at something else, you need to create additional income, right? When you're doing your budget too, you have to track your spending, right? You are going to, yes, identify, and sorry, identify the important um, expenses and, and expenses and income um, items, but you're also going to track and write down your spending. And I guarantee you, if you, when you go to the supermarket, I'm not sure how often you go to the supermarket, but when you go to the supermarket, and if you should look at some little things, and maybe not supermarket, you walk into a, a store. We have our favorite store. And I know our late, we ladies, we do have our favorite store. And sometimes you go to, go to the store and you just buy things. But if you have a budget, you have to stick to the budget, right? And you would not want to take up things or to purchase things that really don't make sense. You don't want them. But, but just for the purchase of purchasing, you do so. So having a budget and consistently and continuously reviewing the budget will help you to keep on track, right? So we look at income and we spoke about how it is that we're gonna su supplement the income. You can never earn too much, right? And if you have an asset or a skill or a technique, um, your, your, your tech savvy, use those, use ways, those are ways in, and means by which you can monetize, you can in, in, increase your income, you can earn an extra book, right? Um, you're going to save, you're going to consider, savings is very important, and you're going to look at long-term and short-term um, saving. Save a little. The first thing you do each month is to take out whatever you have to save, save it first, because if you wait until everything else um, you know, everything else, you may not have anything to, to turn to, to savings, right? And in terms of your protection, I encourage you to have some amount of health insurance, your life insurance, your critical illness insurance, and your investment. And we are here to talk to you on how it is that we can help you to um, open or acquire one of these um, protection plans is very important. You must have something so that at the end of it, if there's an emergency, there is something there that you can turn to because you may not be able to run to the bank quick enough to get a loan to offset whatever expense comes with the emergency. We, we need to look at managing our expenses. You have to track your expense and write it down Write it down, guys. It's very important. We don't have money to waste, but unfortunately, sometimes we waste a lot of money. Because if you should look back at, at how it is that you're spending, you'll be frightened to see how much, um, you know, how many items you're purchasing that you really don't want. You really don't have to purchase. Stick to your budget, right? Do not practice impulsive buying. Um, I'm guilty of that. Do not engage in you in huge and um, unnecessary spending. You don't have to buy the, 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 your child a, 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 a expensive phone. Sometimes, yes, we need a little break. And I mean, the Lord knows we do. But guess what? We have to think about whether or not we can afford to do so, right? We don't buy because we want to impress the person who is looking on. We don't do that. We're mature persons and we should know our pockets, right? Sometimes we want to impress and so we go out of our way to um, spend what we don't have. And we need to get into the habit, be disciplined not to engage in those activities because they will take you to places that you really don't want to go, right? And in managing expenses, you will have to consolidate, and, and, and that is what we're here to help you to do, right? Um, you might have three loans, a two credit card, and so on, and they might have been working well for you because, you know, you know how to manage them. Um, but there comes a time when they, based on the monthly payment that you have to make for these, um, these loans and these credit cards, it might be too much, and it calls on you at that point to really consider, I need to speak with NCB. I need to get a loan to consolidate these debts so that I can get back a little, back a little more um, disposable income. And that takes me right into our unsecured consumer loan. 
Our, our unsecured loan is a loan facility that enables customers to borrow up to $5 million with a maximum repayment period of up to five years. No collateral or no security is needed. Isn't that wonderful? The loan can be used to renovate or refurbish your home, to consolidate your debt, pay school fees, cover medical expenses, um, take a vacation, or you can use it for any legitimate purpose. With this loan, you can borrow up to $5 million, as I said before, and you pay as low as $24,584.52 per month, and that is per million, right? You get up to five years repay, you don't need to give us any collateral, and there is no upfront on commitment fees, that the fees can be deducted from the loan amount. You don't have to take out anything from out of your pocket. And of course, once approval is obtained, is instant disbursement, the money goes straight into your account. And you, this loan is available to all existing customers as well as prospective customers. What do you need to, um, to apply? What kind of documentation is required? So for existing customers, you need your valid government ID, you need your TRN. If you're using a driver's license, that will suffice. You don't need to give us a separate, your separate TRN. And you need your the co copies of your last three salary slips. For new customers, you also need your valid government ID. You need your TRN or the driver's license. You need 12 months um, account statement from your financial institution. You need two references, copies of last three salary slips, copies of last utility bill, and you can take to us electricity bill, water, internet, or telephone bill, any one of the above. And you also need a confirmation of address by way of a utility bill. Any questions so far? You might be asking the question, how is it that I can access this loan? Well, you can visit our website at www.loans at jncb.com. You can co contact me um, and my number is there, uh, 876-279-9668. Um, or you can email me, allensa at jncb.com. You may also, if you have an existing sales officer, you may contact that sales officer. You may also visit a branch, um, but we encourage you to go to the website and make um, an appointment. It's easier when you make the appointment to go in and see the sales officer. And that is it. That's my little wrap. Any questions so far? Well, I think everyone is thinking, Shelly, on, on yes. everything that you have shared. There's a lot of information, very insightful. And Thank so they're, they're contemplating, start working out their budgets, yes. looking at their income and all that. Some ladies are wondering, listen, I have to go, I have to go not buy another pair of shoes this month. So let me work out all of that expense. Uh, here is a question from Norda. Um, how long does the loan take to be approved? What's the approval period? Well, Nor that the loan can be approved um, same day, as, as, as quickly as same day. Okay, can you drop your contact information, Shelley, into the sure. chat so persons can just pull it? Um, yes. At this time, I know you have other things to do. I know the, it's, the evening is wrapping up, but we do have a simple financial literacy quiz. Now, if you are lucky, you may land on some cash prize or prizes. So I'd say get those fingers ready to do this quiz. Um, Joni, can you go ahead and drop the poll at this time? All the best. And may all the winners win. <laughs> if you have any other questions, feel free to ask as well. We'd be happy. Right. So there in the chat team, you'll see Shelly and Zam information. Go ahead and store it. And the quiz is also up. You have like two minutes. I think I don't think you need so much.
So we're going to be very quiet so that you take that two minutes to just focus, all right? It's, it's a poll that pops on your screen. So I'm seeing it. Not sure why you're not seeing it, Tessa. And as Jamelia said, we will be awarding 20,000 gift certificates to persons with the correct answers. Yeah, that's 20K there. <laughs> so they're not seeing it because Camille is also not seeing the, um, the poll. Is there any way, um, Joni, we can... And the team um, see that Camille and Tessa has reported that they're not seeing the quiz. So it looks like a poll, like um, just another screen that pops above the uh, Zoom meeting. You're not seeing that? Tessa, let me know. Is there any way? Okay. It's a pop. -up. Okay, not, not a problem, Jonil. So it's actually a pop-up, but I'm sure they're not seeing it because it's actually above my screen. Is there any way we can close it and just relaunch it again, please? I would the two persons answering it so far. Oh, okay. Yike. So does that mean we're unable to relaunch it, right? Okay. All right, so I'll give you like two more minutes and then we are wrapping up because, you know, Teachers Day, son, well, Teachers Day dinner is waiting for all of you and we want to be very respectful of your time as well. There's a pool icon besides the quiz icon to access. Okay. So Jamila says in the chat that you can select the poll. It's right beside the question and answer icon. So from moving from page left at the bottom of your screen, you will see the mute, you will see stop video, then you see participants, Q&A, and then poll. Go ahead and select polls for me, please. It's not. Let me close and see if it actually works. So I close and I, right. So when I select polls, it is there, I'm seeing it. So whilst we wait, I'll just play a little bit of music, not too much. Hope it's not. Is there anyone that's already finished with the with the um the quiz, Tony? Okay, lovely. Thanks for the update. So there's seven persons is doing the poll. It means that it is accessible. Jamelia, how much more time do we have um, for the poll? Okay, nice. 13 has... 13 persons have completed the poll so far. That's very good. We have, what, 30 persons? Let's just see how quickly we can get that out of the way. Five more minutes. All right, not our issue. Thank you. Thanks, Mrs. Cobrand. Okay, let me see. Um, okay, Claudia, I see you You have raised your hand. Um, can you go ahead and share? Let me just pause the music. Go ahead, Claudia. Oh, okay, so you have, okay. 
Claudia is Trudy. Okay. All right, Trudy, you have anything you want to share? I saw your hand raised earlier. <laughs> And that's fine. Um, Hutchinson Robinson, Eula Lee. Yes, I'm seeing your hand raised as well. What's up? We're, we're, we're actually reaching to the end. So let me know what's up. All right, two more minutes remaining, two more. Unless we put a wrap on that quiz, you will definitely be contacted by one of our team members if you're actually selected as one of the winners of the $20,000 certificate, okay? That's a gift cert. As Jamelia says also in the chat that we will confirm the awardees and of course we will share an email to you to say that yes, you are one of the winners, okay? Just before we go, because I just want to extend many thank yous and that goes out to, let me just stop sharing. And that goes out to our presenters today, Alicia Little from Internet Income, as well as Pow Social. Thank you so much for a, a very energetic presentation. It was heartfelt chat. GPT has got new subscribers thanks to this um, webinar. And of course, I want to give a big shout out to Shelly and Alan for helping us understand how we should maintain our financial wellness whilst also giving us an opportunity to get some cash in hand to kick off the business. So respect for that, Shelly. I love that. The unsecured loans sound like something I want to you know, think about too. <laughs> and I'll definitely share with my team members. Be reminded, teachers, we're at school today. And so all, every link that we dropped in the chat, every contact information, grab it. It's another way for you to network. If you have questions, feel free to reach out to Shelly Ann from the NCB Old Harbor branch. She'd be more than willing to help you. And just even as we close, big up to all the adopter schools represented here. Thank you so much for being here. We know it was a stretch because you had so much more excitement that happened during the day. But we appreciate you. And we can't stop celebrating you today. So forgive us if we just want to spend more of your evening <laughs> together. But we are also respectful of your time. And we're just going to drop um, just one just to let you know, how was the seminar? Did it work out for you? Are you satisfied? I want to know. So go ahead, Joni, let's drop that. Just tell us, is this something you want to come back to? Is this something we should be putting on to help you as you grow and develop yourself? Let us know. All right. So we're going to be dropping the satisfactory um, poll at this time. But do have yourself a good evening. Please do the poll before we go. There it is. It's on the screen. Bless up, Tashana. I'm seeing your comments coming through. Trudy Dunbar, yes. All right, blessings, Trudy. T teachers, please go ahead and let's fill out the post-evaluation survey. I said, Jam said, big up, Shelly and Alicia. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and of course, I'm seeing so much love and appreciation just dropping in the chat for teachers or educators. You know, thank you for empowering our nation's children or next leaders you know thank you so much without you we wouldn't be here and i know sometimes the work can be very strenuous you may feel discouraged too but we're also here as the ncb foundation family to remind you that you are not alone we are here as one of your support and we continue to extend our arms we extend every commitment that we have available to you. So whether or not it's our resources that we can offer to you, we will definitely be there. When it comes on to just empowering you, trust me, we are going to be there, right? So don't be afraid to reach out to us and let us know. Continue to empower your team, your colleagues too. We want this to be passed forward, you know? Don't just keep it to yourself. Share all the goodness that you've learned here today. Uh, we will have it on our YouTube, on our YouTube channel. So I'll definitely Go ahead and share that post wrap up with a, with one of the links to get to it so you can also share it okay so it will be very very useful but thank you so much teachers educators mothers fathers sisters aunties thank you 
for empowering our next generation of leaders and for being an inspiration for others to follow. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your Teacher's Day. One love. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, people, people. Happy life we are living. We're sadly sad. Ding dong, talk to them. I have my house and I have my car. I have my drink and I have my bar. I have my peace and I don't want war. I have my riches, I don't need power. I got my money, I got my girl. Got my diamonds, I got my pearl. Got my things and I got my wings. I'm a fly every day, I'm at the Lord of Wings. Everybody sing happiness. Boy, we not in a no more wishes. Mona for your friend, Mona bad mind. We not want no friendship from them. Sing again now. Happiness. Boy, we not in a no more wishes. Dance me a dance and I enjoy myself. If you want to sell off your business. All right, stir fry. From them, sing again now. Happiness, boy. We not in a no more witches. Dance me a dance and I enjoy myself. If you want to start off your business, I me clean like some sleep in a bleach. Some I mix for the color, but the shade now reach. Versace tread me, I use for me sheet. 